hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back, my name is Mate and today we are continuing with Robert's Rebellion, playing as King Robert Baratheon. Uh, just a quick update, in the last episode, uh, basically five minutes didn't record at the very end, and what happened was I moved the army down to Griffin's Roost and we had a little fight with the Reach, and we actually managed to win it, only just, due to the 100% bonus modifier of the mountains. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened, but it it cut, so uh, unfortunately that's missed. But there's still 13,100 troops currently besieging Bram's Fort, but I'm going to send my troops over to High Garden to try and take Mace out. Uh, as quickly as possible. So we will roll the tape and see if he moves into the defence. And the other thing that's happened is that the uh, Lord of the Crabs has surrendered. So he will be imprisoned. And I think what I'll do is just immediately revoke his title if I'm able to do that. Doesn't look like I can from here, but we'll see. Retract vassalage? No. Uh, prisoners. Can't revoke the title. Not sure why, but anyway. That's how it is, I guess. Maybe after the war. Uh, war has been won, the rebel armies have been crushed. Ah, okay. Uh, he'll forfeit the Bay of Crabs. He'll she'll surrender the Bay of Crabs to the Crown and will be taken prisoner. This will likely disappoint his former bannerman. Quite frankly, I'm not that fussed. Uh, he is quite a strong lord, actually, from... Is this the Riverlands? Does this count as? No, it doesn't. I'm going to retract it, because he rose up against me, so quite frankly he does not deserve it. Uh, does it go to you? No, it doesn't. Does it go to me? No, it doesn't. Not sure where it's gone, but okay. Uh, my liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with factions. What sort of factions have we got going on? So there is one faction for this chapter to be on the throne. There's a faction of independents, uh, but Crown Loyalists at the moment is the largest. We'll ask politely. He's complaining about his dark dungeon. So I don't quite know who's got the High Lordship here. Because it's not me. Um, oh good, the coronation. Oh, this might have been missed as well, so I did the option to have myself crowned and request the coronation. So the Lords of the Realm have started arriving. Welcome everyone as we're in the midst of a war. Uh, I do not speak to me of obligations and duties. Okay, so this guy is going to be a problem for me. To be fair, he is Valyrian and will, be, will have been loyal to Ares. Uh, thank you very much. How great the food was at my feast. I'm glad you enjoyed it. The guards drag Rhaegar Targaryen up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice by birth of right. Ooh. He does have very good combat skill. And we fought him before, so I think Robert would want to handle this himself. Because my combat skill would have gone up due to wearing his armour. I've got my hammer as well. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing his armor. Gives me another 15. Let's try attack him with force. My experience in combat and prowess allows me to spot an opening. Strike. Aha, we won. Rhaegar tries to fight back, but I force my way through and move to brutally break several of his bones. Sorry, Rhaegar. 
You're a pretty awesome character, but you are sadly no more. Interesting that they all fled to the Reach. Or under the rule of the Reach. We get f only five prestige for that. That's a, that's a shame. His final plan failed. Gods are in my favour. Well, we'll see what Ares wants to do. Ah, the crowning of the king, finally. In the name of the father, I, Robert of the House Baratheon, the first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the seven that I will be the protector and defender of the realm, and always useful to it, however many in so far as I am supported by divine assistance, according to my knowledge and ability. I was today crowned. That's 150 prestige, that's pretty good. Excellent. Uh, oh, no, stay on the course. Uh, pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Catelyn, what are you doing? Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Ooh. Uh, she'll always get fed. That gives us 40% chance of her gaining gluttonous, but she gets well fed. I think we'll do that. Excuse me. Sneezing away. I could scarcely believe it possible, but the pregnancy has made my wife Catelyn look even more beautiful. Uh, yeah, make a move quickly. 15 flattery instead of losing lustful. I want to keep lustful. It's a good trait to keep. Right, so we're now besieging High Garden. Uh, I can arrest Lord Shira, who wants a claim. I'm. Oh, I'd rather you didn't do that. Uh, Lyman Darry also wants trial by combat. I think I'll handle this one myself as well. Oh no, has he? He's named someone, Sir Raymond Darry, who's a, a seventy. I could select someone to fight for me, uh, but I think I'll do it myself. Robert's quite proud. Duel begins. I think we'll go for force again with the mighty hammer. I launch a frenzied and furious attack. He appears panicked and allows an opening. And again, Robert wins. Raymond tries to fight back, but I force my way through and shatter several of his bones. Victory is mine. Sorry, Lord Lyman, you are going back to the cell. I feel a sense of relief as I drive my sword, a sense of triumph rather, as I drive my sword relentlessly at Raymond Darry, striking the mortal blow. Lyman Darry is guilty. So he's been found guilty by the gods. What decisions shall he receive? Could send him to the watch. Or put him under house arrest. I think I'll send him to the watch. Yeah, he went against me and it gives me 40 piety. Let's do that. So who gets his castle? Who knows? Where are you going? You're going to defend High Garden, I presume, which is based in farmland, so I won't get any sort of help there. We must have some better commanders than this. Bonifer, there we go. Good. A few of the oh, the Fossaway is excellent. I've come up in defence. It looks like Mace has got quite a few people against him. The Arons are coming, the North is coming. So quite a few people coming to help us. It occurred to me that my wife is somewhat gloomy as of late. I'll buy her something nice. Yeah, we can afford the gold. Uh, my courtiers fear me. They fear my outbursts of anger, so I get minus piety but plus one diplomacy. I'm not that tyrannical though, am I? No. Bit surprising, but okay. So we've got lots of troops here. Well done, Pycelle. Do you get any special... You get some pretty decent links. Presumably that's all the links you can get. Troops-wise... Not many more I can summon. A lot of my vassals are now getting a little bit peeved because I have held their troops on for quite a while. We can get a commander of the Iron Throne and a commander of the Gold Cloaks would be good. Uh, you're the only option I have, so you can have it. 
Oh, the Executor. Harbour. You're the only one I can have, so you can have it. A <laughs> uh, daughter was born. Oh, sweet. We've got a daughter. Uh, the kitchen is truly a wonderful place filled with delicious things. Renly wants to be... Oh, if he gets brave, that's really good. Please get brave. Yes. Good boy. Good boy, Renly. And he's eight now, so we could marry him to... Someone interesting. Who's married to... Oh, so Jamie has now left. Jamie's left the King's Guard. Good. Who are you married to? Oh, of course, yeah, you married a Lannister. Uh, bring me the greatest knights in the realm. Brandon Blackfish. Yes, please. He's great. Blackfish's armor. Yeah, let's see if he'll join me. He will! Excellent. Be the highest honor to serve in your king's guard. Good man, Brendan. Let's do it. Uh, oh my god, this is a 13 fort level. Another place is open. I don't want Stannis to be it. You're okay. And you're just okay as well. So Malcolm Branfield. Nah. We'll see if anyone else is any better. Good, some money coming in from... So we're only at level 9 fort. That's a bit disappointing. What about the knights from powerful houses? No. I think we need to wait until war's over. Let's get some private farms for the extra income. Can't be bothered to do that right now. I just want to besiege High Garden and get it over and done with. And I lose the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Why is that? Because it will go to my daughter, but presumably she also gets. Why? Whoa, 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 okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does Stannis get a succession? What's the succession rules? Let's go to the laws. The oldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. Well, I have a child now, so it should be her. So she should get it. Only males can inherit. Damn it. So I need a son. I really need that son, Kate. Callan. It will be good if you can give me a sum. I could give you a harp. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Uh, we want to keep all the treasures ourselves. Uh, okay, looks like the Riverlands has just battered uh, Mace for us, which is excellent. Renly is just getting all the perks. Who are you being tutored by me? Is that right? Yeah. Your Grace, we rounded everyone up we could in High Garden. What should we do with them? Uh... Oh, we could get a Lena in prison as well. I'm more concerned with Mace, to be honest. Clap him in irons. And end the war. Foolish, foolish. Mace, you should have listened when I won the war first time. You should have accepted it, right. I think I have neglected my court a little bit, so let's sort this out if we can. You can train some troops, Stannis. Do you want a... Be Paramount Knight. You're, you've been pretty loyal to me, so I'm quite quite pleased with you. The war was won. The rebel armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists. Lord Paramount Mace Tyrell has been brought before me to hear judgment. I think he should forfeit the reach quite frankly, and we might give it to the Fosways if we can. So I have usurped the title Kingdom of the Reach, and I'm going to give it to you. Can I give it to you? Uh, the Kingdom of the Stormlands currently has no incumbent separate from the Crown. I petition that you should be made Lord of the Region. How about no... 
Ugh, am I going to have another war on my hands? Quite possibly. Denied. Ugh, I'm going to have to go to war again. Okay, they just don't like me. Well, that's fine. I do want to get rid of the reach though, so it will be great if everything comes back into the realm. Okay. I'll decide my new council. The council's fine, but I want to give it to Fossaway. In fact, actually, I should give it to the Arbor. Because the Arbor is technically the strongest. So, you can become Lord of the Reach. Congratulations, Randall Tarly. Hopefully you'll love me for it. And the Stormlands we are keeping. So, tough crap about whoever wants that. Griffin's Roost, however, we don't need. So, you are part of... Yeah. So, who else is part of Griffin's Roost? You are... You have 941, you have 1,000, and you've got 600. So, you, my dear Lord Ronit, are the new Lord of Griffin's Roost. Enjoy. Pledge of fealty as a thank you would be great. Uh, oh, we've got some big old dangerous factions here. Prince Ares, what? I just gave you power, and you're... Right, well... There's one way to deal with this. Just freaking execute him. Uh, there's no point doing that. What happens if I do this? He dies. I think we're going to execute him because he now deserves it. Uh, Doran we could free because he's been loyal to me. He's not got the money. I don't... Ugh, I mean, it would be nice to have the money. But he fought in my war. I'm going to free him. Ares, I think you're done. This faction is becoming dangerous and it's time for us to make a decision on you. It's time for you to die. He's been bought from his cell for execution. How shall he be dispatched? Hung, drawn and quartered. The Mad King will be no more. And he has died. So that puts your faction out of business, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Frickin' Randall, just when I give you power. So there's another Targaryen that they want. Oh, it's Aegon. That's fine. At first I found it unsettling that Justin asked me to help him conquer his shyness. Who are you? Okay. Uh, I'll help you, but it's going to cost you. Sure, I'll take the money. Right. What can we do? We can command an end to the war for this guy. Not that fast. You, if you have enough money, then I'll ransom you. Apart from that, not willing to do much else. Oh, he revoked the High Lordship of High Garden. Oh, Mace, you've really fallen foul today. Did he give it to himself? Yeah, he did. <laughs> well done, Randall. You're doing good. Uh, we just need to really concentrate on having a son. And just trying to bring the realm in order. Uh, Master of Laws, you could perform some statecraft for me. And you can perform some charity for me in King's Landing. We are over the vassal limit. I can press claims for a few places. What's going on in the Vale? Which Isle? What are you doing? You're trying to overthrow Robert. Well, that's not going to happen. But that's fine. You carry on and try and defeat him. Private farms are being built. I just need a new daughter with you, if that's possible. Have some money. Just love me. And let's get some kids going. I think we need a bigger beard for Robert now. Let's get something... Big and bushy. There we go, that'll do. 
I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get cruel. Resist my foul impulses. We have a wife. We can't be too sad. Uh, Justin wants to join the seven. Sure, join the seven. So, I think what we will do is end the episode here. Hopefully next episode we will have a son, and then I think we will look to conquest over in the east, possibly Tyrosh or Lys, see what it lets us do. Uh, in the meantime, please do like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode.